Good morning. Uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, this will be part three of our, my teaching that I'm doing this morning. And um, we've been talking about the fact is that Yahuwah, our Creator, declared by Himself that He is the only uh, Eluahim. And again, that, that, that word is actually the Hebrew word for what most people refer to as God. And um, again, that's not His name, by the way. Uh, Eluahim, or God, is not the name of the Creator. It's, it's just a title, and actually uh, it means Mighty One. Um, it is not His name. He has a name that's in the Scriptures uh, approximately 7,000 times. Now, His name has been edited out of our Scriptures because uh, of the English translation used substituting the, for the Creator's name the word Lord or God in, in English has been substituted a number of places and if you'll do your research, you know, don't just take my word for it. I don't tell you these things and expect you to believe what I'm saying. You ought, to, you ought to look it up yourself because you won't be persuaded unless you do, unless you are convinced that this is accurate. But the name of the Creator has been, um, say, edited out of the Scriptures. I like to put it that way because that's in reality what's happened because originally His name was in the Scriptures. And uh, so all you have to do is, is get to a concordance and look up the word Lord and you'll find that it's going to refer you to the Hebrew number uh, 3068, which is the Creator's name, which we know as being Yahuwah. And it's not Yahweh, it's not Yehovah, it's not all the other variations, it is Yahuwah. And I've done a teaching on my YouTube uh, channel that you can go to and find all the teachings that I've done about how we know that His name is pronounced Yahuwah and not Yahweh or other these other versions, Jehovah, and all these other things that, are, that really... Uh, only uh, you know distract from people understanding because you know the the Creator would never have given us His name and expected us to declare His name to make His name known if we were in the dark about not knowing how to pronounce His name and so there's quite a bit of evidence uh, to, given and uh, it's not hard if you'll just search it search it out yourself now I want to read um, actually uh, and I and by the way our previous uh, sessions I was dealing with uh, reading from the book of Isaiah or Yahshua Yahu, uh, chapter 45. Now I'm going to go to chapter 43 and again this is another verse here where Yahuwah declares that he is our Savior and um, we again the word for Savior in Hebrew would be Moshiach and uh, but in chapter 43 he is speaking here again and he says I even I am Yahuwah now, again, your English translation is going to say, if you're reading from, a, from an English translation, it's going to say, the Lord. That's why most people refer to the Creator as the Lord, because that's what they seem predominantly in the Scriptures is the word Lord. But again, it says, I, even I, am Yahuwah, and beside me there is no Savior. <laughs> All right. If the Scriptures... And, you know, I know I'm reading from the Tanakh or the Old Testament, and some people might be thinking or saying, well, in the New Testament, you know, the, Jesus is our Savior. He is the one that, that uh, paid the price. But you have to understand, and I don't have time just to, to elaborate in a lot of detail on this, but, you know, you have to, first of all, understand that Jesus is an English name that has only been around for about 400 years. Uh, you can easily prove this if you look at his name, look up the name Jesus, and again from a strong concordance or any other concordance you want to use, it's going to tell you if you do the research that the name Jesus uh, is uh, is a Hebrew name. Uh, well, excuse me, it's a Greek. It's a, it's a Greek name. Uh, English, first of all, English to Greek uh, to Latin. It, there was no need to, to transliterate his name from Hebrew because it'll tell you his uh, his the origin of the name Jesus is Hebrew. <laughs> Well, origin means that's where it originated. His name originated in Hebrew. Now, Jesus is not a Hebrew name. <laughs> First of all, there's no J letter in Hebrew, and uh, so he never could have been called Jesus because uh, that's not Hebrew. And second of all, the letter J is even new to the English language. It only came into really predominant use in the 17th century in, um, in say, mid-1600s. Uh, 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 you'll find that actually the first time the name Jesus shows up really on this planet, if you might put it that way, was in about the fourth edition of the King James Bible, which was around 1628. In the original 1611 King James, you won't see the name Jesus in the Bible because it doesn't have a letter J in there. 
Now what you will find is the Latin version of his name spelled with an I and uh, it's pronounced, would have been, been pronounced as Jesus. And um, so, uh, with all, and that's, that originated from the Greek Iesus. But we know that, that our Creator would never have given His Son the name uh, Iesus, which is Greek, nor uh, Isu, uh, uh, Jesus, a Latin name, or an English name, Jesus. He gave Him a Hebrew name, which His name is, the Mashiach's name, uh, which is really Yahuwah manifested in the flesh he came the scripture says that in 2nd Corinthians that uh, to know that Yahuwah was in Mashiach reconciling the world unto himself so it was Yahuwah manifested in the flesh that came to redeem mankind because he already declared that he was our Savior our only Savior and uh, his name Yahusha which is what the, they referred to as the Mashiach when he was in the manifested in the flesh on the earth and his name Yahusha actually translated from Hebrew would mean Yahuwah is Savior or salvation verifying the fact that this is exactly what Yahuwah declared about himself that he was Yahuwah uh, Savior or Yahuwah Yasha which is the Hebrew word uh, for salvation salvation is the Hebrew number three four six seven or three four six eight and if you look that up, that's what it means. And so, uh, now, I don't know if I, I read verse, uh, I want to read verse 8 out of Isaiah 42. And it says, I am Yahuwah, that is my name. <laughs> there's so many different, there's so many times that's, that's mentioned. I mean, you know, you don't know that because, if I say you don't know, most people don't know it because when they're, they're reading out of their English translations and it says, I am the Lord, that is my name. Well, Lord is not his name, and uh, it is Yahuwah. So, but he says that is his name, and then he says in verse of, of this same chapter, no, excuse me, I'm going to chapter 43. It says in 43, um, again, verse 11 says, I, even I, am Yahuwah, and beside me there is no Savior. Who is Savior? Yahuwah. For the scriptures to be consistent from the as well as the New Testament as well as the Old Testament that if Yahuwah declared in the Tanakh or that's the Old Testament that he is our Savior our salvation then for scripture to be accurate which it is and for Yahuwah not to be able to lie then our salvation is found in Yahuwah and the person you may know as Jesus or as Yeshua and there's all these different names but none of them are accurate his actual Hebrew name is Yeshua I'm excuse me, Yahusha. <laughs> I'm getting myself mixed up here. But uh, but his but actually his name Yahusha, translated is Yahuwah, is salvation or savior. I hope this has helped you, and uh, we'll continue in our next session. Please share this with others, and uh, I love you. Appreciate all your support and all your comments and your in sharing this with others on Facebook and with your friends. I thank you for that. Shalom.